just not with a rude man, unless their thy ancestors be disgraced. Reproach not a man that turns away from this ain't just not with a root, man. Mm -hmm. You have me you hanging out here with one of these simple fools out here. Uh, just what they call out here clowning. and They're going to get you. You're going to get caught out there, man, hanging out with these people. Yeah, yeah. End up getting your ass killed. Yeah, because the motherfucker, he might not know. He might got beef with somebody. You yep. just so happy that around. He could have just robbed somebody. Could, you see that happen. That <laughs> Right, right. Hey, it's like, uh, go ahead. I was about to say, it's like that. You, you see me that too, sitting, me uh, too. new video? You know? He's sitting in the car with oh, dude. Well, not new, but you know what I mean. Several times. Look, we up in Mexico, bro. Yeah. This is years ago. This is in the fucking uh, late 80s, man. I'm with two third niggas, man, hanging out. I ain't know. I don't know. I'm just fucking young and dumb. And we up in Mexico, they parked the car, and we, let's go get some beer. We go in the fucking carry out. These motherfuckers start robbing the motherfucker. Bro, camp, bro. You know, that happened twice. Being around these 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 niggas. Being around these niggas. Yeah, these niggas around got demons on them, man. They yeah, got demons on them. They could have been them rob somebody. They can come yeah. up and get you so caught up in, in the Bex line of fire. Up in Bexley, yeah, man. Up in Bexley. Yeah. I got had a, I was up north, man. Coming from leaving the North Mall with some niggas again. I had to run from a helicopter, man, because some motherfucker goes and robs, tries to rob the store. Tries to rob this girl. Yeah, and the cops don't care. You get caught with them. If you right there with them, you going to jail. These niggas ain't shit, man. These niggas ain't shit. And Jake pulling a drive-by don't care. If you with the enemy, he spraying the whole block up. If you out there with him, you getting sprayed up with him. Yeah. wicked man, you going to get hit. Yes. I see. Real quick. The dude, because y'all have brought him to camp before, too. That little nigga, he used to go to school together. Yeah. For a minute, I haven't seen him in a minute. So that he hit me up and I wanted to come over. And he came over to my house and we walked, we took a walk, we went to uh, Shula Park. That's where we were on the south side. We went to Shula Park and we walked back home. And I'm telling you, I walked down that street every single day. I had nothing, no problem. Nothing. I walked in the dark and the fucking morning, everything, no problem. And I want this nigga, I walk down the street with this nigga. Some niggas roll past and they was, you know, they made that little gunshot noise, you know, but I'm probably looking at us and shit. In fact, you know, that, I think that means like, you know, they, you know, it's like a threat, you know what I'm saying? So I had no power to him with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, that's why you got to keep going with niggas, man. Right? If, 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 if they never heard the truth, you give them the truth, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Listen. Heritage. Hey, I want you to, is it? To the, once you know they can't get it, they can't get it. And I got a scripture. Uh, sec oh, what you got? Okay. And this is the perfect scripture, though. Look, 2 John... Uh, Reasons for precepts. 2 John 9. Whosoever transgresses and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai hath not the Most High. He that abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, he hath both the Father and the Son. Tells you the Father and Son are different. But this is the scripture, 2 John 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. God bless Well, look, for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Right, so if, somebody, if somebody's not in the truth, you're really not supposed to be letting them in your house. If you got a scoffer, two thirds, an adulterer, if, if, you, if you know this motherfucker's no good, you hanging out with him, you gonna get the same reward that he gonna get. Like he said, you, you hang out with two thirds, but you end up getting robbed with him, get arrested with him. They gonna have warrants. I mean, you just don't know. You gonna show what? Fourteen and ten. A wicked eye, a wicked eye, envious, envious his bread and he is a nigger at his table. Huh. You know? Because at least while that motherfucker looking at you, they want to take what you got, man. You know, or make you lose it. You know? Yeah, they don't have no nice retro Jordans yeah. or any kind of Jordans. That's, that's it. If you got a pair of them, the kid just got uh, shot or robbed whatever on the on the bottoms for his he had his son of Mars. Right. He got robbed for him. But you got Jordans. They, 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 you would get killed over a pair of shoes. I mean, that's not even wealth. No, it's that's not, not even, even wealth. You know, the Jordans ain't even made out of real leather no more. That's crazy. What they made that? it out of some old fake and get a thin little layer of leather on it. They're it, robbing them. Yeah. 
This shit's not even real. It's funny, man. Cause I was watching the. Uh, it's like the cold golden and the silver in the ancient Rome. As time went on, it was less and less and less. Yeah, and yeah. Less. <laughs> That's why the old, the real, true retros is worth so much money now. That's crazy. And regardless, if they were true, that's still not no fucking wealth. Man. Nope. You know? These people think they don't hit gold, man. The Jordan, pair of Jordans probably cost $10 to make, and they sell them for $200. Uh-huh, and that's my child. I feel Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's right. You might do say nothing or do nothing disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what you even did. Right, right. What'd you do? Just say, there you go. Like, that's she, my child. But she walk around. Ain't your child? That's a woman. She's not a child. She's a woman. She's bigger than her. She's thicker and everything. Delicious looking and everything. Wearing some tight ass pants. Right, right. Well, you can. You let your child wear tight ass pants. Yeah. Well, you failed as a mother. She's like Mrs. Only Mom. They actually supposed to bring their uh, daughters to us. And be like, here you go, a right. little present. That bitch would have got a blessing then, you know. Yep. But now that's my child. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same child when she gonna tell her, uh, baby, you gotta test the waters, baby. Oh. You know what I mean? Woo, She's woo. training her up. Jeremiah four and twenty two. My people is foolish. They have not known. They are Scottish children. They have not no understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. No, no wisdom. They no got no knowledge. Like he said, that's our girl, but she's dressed like a man wearing tight pants. Yeah, it's a compliment. There you go. You say it's a compliment. How, how is that offensive? You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand she had a man. That's probably offensive. Yeah. First of all, like, the mission got her. First of all, always said guy in the bra. You know what I'm saying? She looked. She looked like her. Oh, Titus. Look at Titus. I bet if you was a drug dealer smoking a blunt, and then it was like, ooh, that was a drug. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. <laughs> if you came up with some money to you, had a nice car, she would like that. These people are hypocrites, man. I guarantee she ain't teaching her daughter to uh, follow the ways of the most high. Nah. Like, they gonna be destroyed too. Like the women on the ship. Them old hoes out of here. They gonna, they gonna make it, man. These old hoes ain't gonna make it. Um. Why you can't be talking disrespectful about women like that? Run, run, run. Queens. Here you go. This is Titus 1, Titus 2 and 3. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior has become holy. Not false accusers. False accusers. Not giving to much wine teachers of good things. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chase keepers at home. Not out on the streets running. Keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not Right, well, these women are not teaching their daughters to be obedient to their husband. You know what they say? They ain't, they'll never teach a uh, woman to be obedient to the husband. What they'll teach him is you need to leave him. You, he ain't no good for you. He lost a job. You need to leave him. That's what they're going to teach their daughters. You always hear the woman, yeah, you need, you, he ain't good for you. Baby, you, right. Baby, you can go to college. You know, a woman like that deserves to get put to death. Yeah. That, that's, that's, Nothing short of that. That's deserving of death. Nothing short of that. Nothing short Saying of that. something like that, you, right. you got to get put to death. Right. Nothing short of that. For real. It, that, that's adultery. You that's just heard an adultery. Right. Adultery is punishable by death. I hate that. I say uh, evil spirit. Oh, uh, she's one. I thought she was going with him. Come on, man. See, that's what I was thinking. What you got? I wanted to get that Proverbs, too. I hate you. I hate you. It's all good. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Dude, 
like because they ain't really just the man's child. They ain't there. It's the man's child. They just don't you know, do And that's why when they grow up, they run in the streets till damn 2 in the morning, sticking people up, doing drugs. Women, the young girls. Oh, shit. But you got young girls. You go right down Sullivan, man, you be seeing 15 year olds prostitutes down there. You know what I mean? That's real too, right? They, like he's got they, their parents ain't nowhere to be found. They just out running wild and crazy. Second King's name. And I'm starting 20. And his servants carried him in a chariot to Jerusalem and buried him in the sepulchre with his fathers in the city of David. And in the 11th year of Jerome, the son of Ahab, uh, began a uh, hot desire to reign over Judah. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tied her head and looked out at the window. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Had Zimri beast who slew his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs. And he said, throw her down. Throw that bitch down. So throw two Jezreel out of here. Out of that window. Throw her down. So they threw her down. And some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall. She must have hit hard. You know? She hit hard. Yeah. She hit spl she like hard. splat. Right. <laughs> that bitch was still living. Though. She was still alive. Right? Yeah, hey, like that video game splat. Oh, you know, when you get yeah. exploded, it just splats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he got splatted. Right. And it says when you die, it says you got splatted. Jezebel got splatted. And some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses. And her trolled her underfoot. And they and he trolled her underfoot. He had just had that horse just yep. dancing on her. Just dancing on her. That's some beautiful shit seeing those dance. That's actually amazing how they train on those. How to be high stepping and yeah, all that. That's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Yo, you can see that in the Clint Eastwood movies. <laughs> nah, because he was real good at riding the horses. Yeah, yeah. This is what Jamie uh, Foxx did at the end of Jamie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, that was sweet as hell, man. That's a badass movie. Yeah, they said he could actually ride the horses. That's a good. badass What My sister did that same way. Yeah. My sister. That demon. And she be cussing her horses out and throwing shit at them, man. Hey. She hate them, man. I'll be nice to a horse. Hey, my dude told me, though, you do got to train them. He said he used to take, like, the four by four from the horse. Get this smack this shit out there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's cruel. Yeah, because I that's cruel. But they say they can't, they don't feel it though, because they, 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 they so strong, so strong. Until the horse loses and bites your lip off. Yeah, and they'll kick your ass. He yeah. said they'll keep running. Like a horse will just take off and it's keep running while he get fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that's. Mike, a yeah. <laughs> um, and he trolled her underfoot. And when he was gone, come in, he did eat and drink and said, Go, see now this cursed woman, and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet. Uh, and the palms of her hand. That's a that's a that's a hell of a hell of a sight. The dogs came first. She got yeah. trampled down, and then the dogs ate her. <laughs> that's a hell of a sight. And don't they say the dogs shit her out too, or something like that? Well, let me finish reading. <laughs> Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, "This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jezreel, the dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the carcasses of Jezebel shall be as dung." Upon the face of the field and the portion yeah. of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. So it really means the Lord actually said that Jezebel was eaten by a dog. First, she was trampled down by horses. Well, actually, first, first she was thrown out the window. <laughs> what we're doing is reading the judgment. The, the Lord took this bitch, this evil bitch, this d evil demon woman. This is the punishment of the evil demon woman. She could, they threw her ass out the window. She hit the ground, she splattered, the blood splattered all over the wall. Then the horses came, trampled on her. You probably stomping her head deep in the mud, you know what I mean? Then the dogs came up, ate her, then the dogs went and shit her out all over the place. Dog shit is some hell of some shit. Dang it. Terrible you mad as hell when a puppy shit in your house, man. And you know dogs too, when they get to crunching and stuff, they'll eat whole bones oh, and everything. Man, 
Have you get some some hounds? It was some hounds. You know, I wonder what kind of dogs they were. Well, like some bloodhounds or something. They will crunch your bones. Yeah, I seen dogs eat vomit too. Yeah, they will eat anything. Yeah, vomit the dog is returned to the vomit again. They say you know dogs will actually eat you when you die. Yeah. If you if you just laying around and there's nobody else there to stop him, he'll eat you. Eat your ass. Free meal, shit. Yep. This is food. Any animal. This is food, nigga. So that that was the punishment for Jezebel, though, because you should think what the Most High got coming for these women. For these black these niggas, women, man, the nigger woman, the leader of them all, the nigger woman. That's that spirit, though. Uh, that Jezebel spirit is heavy on Israel. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. that's essentially her nickname. They want to be called Eve and Sarah. Nah, bitch, you Jezebel. <laughs> they want to be called Deborah. Nope. You ain't Deborah. You Jezebel. You're Athaliah. Jezebel had a daughter named Athaliah. She was almost at work. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's dancing her. bitch. Herodia. Her dancing bitch. Her, her mom had her do it, though. Her mom had her do it. He didn't want to do it though. And the spirit knew, but he didn't. He didn't even want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just showing you this wickedness of this woman is great, man. Right. Revelation 3 and 2 and 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Because thou, nigga woman, because <laughs> thou, nigga woman, suffers that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornications and to eat things sacrificed into idols. That's why right now, like, uh, my cousin, man, he, he don't like, he ain't into the Christmas spirit, but only, he only knows why he had to do it because it's a fucking woman. And you know, too, the woman's the main one to get, that was, they, they won't stop being poor either. The woman's the main one, well, they should be usually, but you know, your mom and all the older ones, I don't know about these young bitches. But, it, but everything they cook got pork in it. You go to your grandma's house, she cooking ham, we got breakfast, what, bacon for breakfast, ham for lunch, and uh, uh, sausage, hot dogs. Everything they cooking all got pork in it, and they going to feed But if you if you read to your grandma the Bible, she going to say that you wrong. Yes. You know what I mean? Thank you, man. My family is going crazy over us. Uh, it's going crazy over the chillers, man. Anyway, eat nothing else. They just going barge. They ate the chillers before the food was even done. Damn. They Chit couldn't wait. They had it. Chitlins, chitlins, man. Chitlins are slave food. Chitlins, you get killed, man. You get killed, man. Trying to fuck with them chitlins. You and Israel life. You and Israel life. These niggas eat chitlins, man. Chitlins. Act chitlins. What, what do you think is on bratwurst, too? Bratwurst is the same thing as chitlins. Y'all be like, oh, I, that's nasty. I don't eat chitlins. But you eat bratwurst, and that's got intestines in the bratwurst. You ever smell it when they're cleaning that shit? It smells like shit. It smells like shit. It stinks, man. <laughs> It's yeah. okay though, huh? Chitlins! <laughs> but grandma, right, she's spiritual. Right, right. Abomination. Oh, oh, my grandpa a pastor. How many times have you heard that one? Right. Oh, my grandpa's a pastor. Ooh. Wake up with wake up in the morning cooking bacon. Stinky, but he a pastor. Right, right, right. Right, right. Then they got the nerd to talk bless here, man. I gotta show you Israel. That's What's why it's here, my people are food. They don't know me. That's why. I'm here, man. That's why they do the things they do. Then, like, well, I just pray. I goes to show you the fucking two thirds of Israel. Fucking wicked, fucking evil as shit. That's what happened back in the day. Evil they used to shit. do what they want to do. Then they be, oh, let me go sacrifice this animal. But the Most High got tired of that shit and took that away. Like, here you go. This Amos five and twenty. So not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. I hate, I despise your feast days. All right, th th like Thanksgiving. The Most High said he th he hates Thanksgiving. He hates Christmas. He hates Halloween. Oh, here it is. Y'all kind of, y'all believe in the Bible. Y'all all celebrate Christmas. Christmas is not in the Bible. Hey, can't none of y'all show me where Christmas is in the Bible. Now, one of you can show me a scripture that says to celebrate Christmas. But I can show you a scripture that says don't put a Christmas tree in your house. Jesus is born. What's that in the scripture? Yeah, and that's why, that's why, that's why y'all gonna be destroyed. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Who's that in the scriptures? Oh yeah, y'all don't know the scriptures. Y'all don't know no scriptures. Oh, scriptures. You don't, yeah, you don't know no scriptures. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones they know. They can't even break it down. 
I remember you said that to Farazza's son. Shut up, you don't know no script. We got parties. Who said that? You said that to Farazza's son. Uh, that shit was funny as fuck. That's how you do it, bro. You, like, you don't Shut know up, no you script. don't know no script. You don't know no script. <laughs> Tell them to bring out a scripture, they don't. They, they don't know. They tell you, let's put the Bible away. That's what they said, didn't they? Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk from our heart. <laughs> That's foolery. The that scriptures break that down and said, uh. That was real, man. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Jeremiah or Proverbs? Jeremiah or Proverbs? Okay. Let me finish this, y'all got some. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell. In your song. But well, they said the most high don't hate though. Yeah. It's all about love. <laughs> <laughs> he hates your love. You know, God God hates your love. You know what I mean? I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Y'all celebrate Christmas this year? The love of Jesus. Y'all love Christmas, don't you? Wrapping, you got the tape. That's that. You got those Christmas lights up already. It's going to burn. That's how Esau do it. Here it is. Your electric bill be high as hell. Cause y'all dumbass wanna put some fucking Christmas lights up that is not that don't go with the Bible. That's why your light bill be so so high. Hopefully people's houses burn down this Christmas. Hopefully we pray, we pray. That's what we you pray. Make bad buddy during this time of year from the electricity, man. man. Cause that's the East the Edomites making the money, man. Hey, yeah. you know, for the electricity. Tricking y'all dumb. Dumbass. Because the Bible says you're supposed to burn those trees with fire. Yeah. And thinking too, every year they got a tree genocide. They chopping down a whole forest of trees. Just they be like, we need to save the trees. Like, mother, y'all the fucking yeah, ones yeah. doing this we shit. We're going to save the trees or cut them all down. Got <laughs> your eggnog. Yeah, eggnog, all that Roast bullshit. Roast nuts. Roast nuts. Roast nuts. Roast nuts. no perfect. Roast nuts. <laughs> yeah, that Christmas spirit is the spirit of Satan. That's the spirit of the, that's the, spirit of the devil. And here it is. We so poor and fucked up. We ain't got no money, nothing. But y'all trying to, we ain't waste all this damn money. We ain't got no business doing that. Yeah, he, that's Esau's holidays, man. He can do that. He can afford to do that. We can't. We yeah, you. To fit in. You see all these families going crazy to go buy some Chinese junk at Walmart. <laughs> you may could, you know, you buy your child a toy nowadays. That shit break. You yeah. put as soon as you pull it out the package, it's already broke. It's already gone. Like goddamn. Then, then here it is. You can lie to your kids. Like, oh, Santa bought this for you. Like what? I worked hard for this motherfucking money. <laughs> you know what your saying? ass. Like, I ain't about to lie. Like, thinking eat a mic that came down the chimney. <laughs> Coming down the chimney. <laughs> Big fat ass red motherfucker came down the chimney. That's why Grinch was a great guy until he fell off at the end. He fell off. Oh, I know. He sold out. I was man. mad, man. He it was so good. Out. He did sell out. <laughs> fucking Grinch turned into a faggot. <laughs> Verse 20, though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I would not accept them. Neither will I regard peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Yeah, like the noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's another reason because they talk about that in Revelation 18. You know that we know this is Babylon. This is where all the noise of all the music and songs. Because yeah. Christmas party. Right, right. And the Most High hates all your little Christmas songs, Jingle Bells, Lord, White Christmas. Baby Jesus. <laughs> Why we praying the Lord bring y'all a fiery Christmas. I know <laughs> White Christmas. He going to bring you a fiery we're Christmas. Praying, praying. Gonna, burn these fools up. Yeah, a red Christmas. They're going to be a red Christmas. Yeah, you know, like seeing the, the snow with little pink, pink spray on it. Yeah. The pink mist, what they call it. They, they think we, uh, they think we crazy though. But this is according to the Bible, man. Y'all, y'all wicked as hell, man. Y'all, man, y'all celebrating holidays that's not in the Bible, man. Here it is, the Most High gave you the uh, holy days, man, to do. Y'all ain't doing nothing. One of them. You're beautiful too, for real, man. Right. That, man, people get. We tell people we don't celebrate Christmas. They're like, that's fucked up. <laughs> but they, don't, you ain't celebrating the Passover. Right. That's fucked up. That's, that's the top holy day is the Passover. Day of Atonement. Day yeah. of Atonement. Oh, yeah, Day of Atonement, you have to fast and not eat. The total opposite of Thanksgiving. <laughs> they be damn. Uh, that's right. No food, no water? What? Yeah, that's a holy day. Afflicted not soul? eating. Intentionally? <laughs> Intentionally? But they can't do that. They got no faith. <laughs> they, they can't take, they can't afflict themselves for one whole day. Because they're weak. Right. Right. One day out of the year. All that fat truck, man, that's all right. That's funny, man. Hey, you know America's going to be destroyed? 
Of course he knows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your bank account gonna hit zero. He might as well jump off the 20th floor. <laughs> he's going, and he's going to. <laughs> we might get to witness it. I did one leg. I'm tired of hearing this. That would be beautiful. Did we get to see somebody? Oh, jump, jump out and you ever hear somebody when you ever hear the impact from when the motherfuckers jump? It's not like a oh, damn. Boom! It, it's just like when you hear someone's leg break. Oh, uh, when, uh, uh, when I was wrestling, I broke this dude's leg. Uh, it, it broke like it wasn't nothing. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> but that motherfucker sound like a shotgun going off. I was like, damn. <laughs> Poor kid. This is Ezekiel 22 and 26. Motherfucker's probably fucking the shit. He says, her priests have violated my law. Oh, their priests have violated the law. Look at all these so-called priests and pastors violate the law. Homosexual pastors, women pastors. That's going against the law. They have a hey. fucking uh, December, uh, Christmas time, they have a big old Come to church and put trees in the church. Trees. They put the groves in it. Yeah. Christmas play. Then they then they teach the congregation it's okay to uh, it's okay to have a divorce. We accept divorced women. Yeah. We accept uh, your money. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> they, they teach it's okay to eat pork. They'll, they'll tell you that the law is done away with. Read that again. Yeah. They'll say there is no law. They'll you say get saved by grace. You get saved by grace. They'll say there's no law. Even though that's true, that we save. Yeah by your faith and grace, but there's still a law. He said, he said that was one of the laws that Yeah. Because y'all, yeah, there's priorities, because faith is the most important. But that don't mean that there ain't no laws. You're going to tell me that we ain't, the Ten Commandments is in the Old Testament, so we, we don't got to follow that. That says don't steal, don't commit adultery, don't have no other gods before you. You got to keep the Sabbath. Oh, they say there is no Sabbath. Oh, Sunday is the new Sabbath. Yeah. We're just making shit up. Go ahead. That was crazy. I got something. I got something. This is one Yeah, read that again. No, go ahead. It says, Ezekiel 22 and 26, the priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things, and they have put no difference between the holy and profane. Damn. Damn. No yeah, you know, they'll say eating all oh, pork is just another white meat. That's no what they'll difference. say that. They're like, it's good for it. It's protein. No difference. My family been eating it. My grandpa led to be 80 years old. Oh. He ate pork his whole life. Oh, it's all right for that nigga to come in here if he is a faggot dressing in women's clothes and makeup. First thing I can tell you that a man ain't supposed to wear women's clothes and women ain't supposed to wear women's clothes. So there's no difference, like I said. And then the pagans, too. I said the pagans. Yeah, I should call them pagans. They are pagans. The Christians. Huh? Well, I was about to say this point. The Christians, the, a lot of them know that Christmas was pagan. They know that Easter is pagan. They know all these so-called holidays are pagan, but they say, well, we just incorporated it into Christianity as a way as Christ conquering the pagans. It'll give you some retarded excuse of why they do it. It's like, it, it's, it's a, another reason to celebrate Jesus on Christmas. We know he wasn't born on December 25th, but I heard Stephen Anderson say that, pa good old pastor Stephen Anderson. He said, uh, well, we just use Christmas as a day to celebrate Jesus. Even if it used to be pagan, it's not no more. But what does that scripture say? It says you can't mix the uh, the holy with the profane. That's crazy. You know what I mean? That's mixing the holy with the profane. That is crazy. That is crazy.